and supports external developers as good as can be. One of the tools we supply is SpotLM Terminal, an application for raw data handling. In this video I want to show you the basic handling of the application and some neat little features that are unique with SpotLM hardware. Now let's get practical with SpotLM Terminal application. First of all, a uh, terminal will be started. You first will see the application main window, which consists of uh, the menu bar, the toolbar, uh, some, some uh, setting bar, and uh, the display for sending and receiving transmission data. It can connect to a direct serial port device. It can also connect to a, direct, uh, to a serial port device installed via USB, and it also can connect to devices connected to your Ethernet. Let's assume you want to communicate directly with a serial port station. You choose the serial port 1, which the station is connected to, and you choose port rate, which in this fact is 4800, and you open the port. In the upper right corner you can see that the device is connected. You are able to choose from a set of predefined commands, which is available in the menu bar. Uh, this is sorted into uh, two uh, main parts. One part is the old station commands and the second part is the new station commands. We have a PS7 master connected to the station, so we choose the new station commands and we want to get the DMS mode. In this area you can see the information sent to the serial port. And in the left corner you see the information received from the serial port. So you now can see that the command predefined was uh, this way and the response relation was this one. Let's connect again and have the settings. First of all, the first settings page is nearly the same like the quick, quick settings bar. Uh, with one uh, difference, you can now choose uh, to manually edit the board rate if required. Further settings are that you can have a frame setting. This is especially very handy when you communicate with spotted end devices by typing in commands. So um, the spotted end terminal will append some um, framing information that are required for the spotted end station to understand your command. You can choose from a predefined set. We maybe choose spotted end save and say OK. So let's assume you want to manually send the command I, I chose from the predefined command set. Open the port again. So let's assume you want to send the command you have chosen from the predefined command set manually. So you have to type in as the command. And we have set the framing to be appended by spotted in terminal automatically. So if you open the device, you simply have to type the command. This is F1, click send. And as you can see, this command set has been sent uh, via serial port. And as you can see, Spotted and Terminal automatically appended the required information for the station to understand. Another neat feature is that a Spotted and Terminal also supports a command set you can define by yourself. You can go to the Manage Self-Defined Commands dialog and you can now include a self-defined command. First of all, enter a description. Maybe we want to get MS mode. Second, you have to enter the, the hex code for the command. Let's say F1. We save this command and close the dialog. Now you can open the Siri port again and choose the self-defined command here. First warning, we see that the frame set we have already defined will not be applied to your self-defined commands. This is not what we want to have. So we close the command, uh, the port, go to the settings and check apply self-defined commands uh, frame set. Open the port again. Now you see that the frame set will be applied. You can click get MS mode. And the result is the same as before. Sporty Dent. Make the most of your sport.